I'm April, your cat health coach, and I'm interviewing my mama, my very first interview, Yay. Wendy Arguin, to oh, just ask okay. her some questions about what life is like as a cat breeder. And as many of you know, I used to be breeding myself, I've been retired out of it for about four years now. Um, so obviously I know some of these things, but I'm going to just, you know, do this like in an interview to give you guys the, the info so you can just learn more. So, um, yeah. So first thing I guess is if you could just tell us a little more, I think a lot of people want to know really like what a, what a typical day looks like for you to just know sort of you know, what, what the life as a breeder really is. So can you kind of give us a rundown of like what a typical day looks like? Like what is your morning routine? Uh, well, I typically get up and start feeding everyone, of course. And that process takes like 20 minutes or so. Um, and then after I get done feeding, I get my coffee. <laughs> Most <laughs> you Always need coffee. coffee. Yeah, and then so, I'll start with. So you actually some feed them before chores. you have coffee. That's oh you know, yeah, that's impressive. They, <laughs> they don't. Yeah, they, they really first, they really do course. take priority. <laughs> yeah, and then I'll start my process of scooping pans and just start cleaning everyone. And then you know, a little bit later, you go around pick up plates. So I'll typically spend three to four hours um, doing my cat chores, cleaning, feeding, watering, you know, making sure cat pans are clean and mamas and babies are clean, and then I get ready to go to work. And I work at CVS, typically 3 to 11 most days, so. And yep. then I go to work, and then when I get home, it's feed them dinner. I remember those days. So, so hang Check. on, let me back up, back up. So, okay, three to four hours every morning. Yeah. Just the morning routine to care for the kitties. Right. So, I think that's a really big point to highlight for everybody. Um, most people that I chat with, I don't think really have that type of insight to realize just how time inclusive this this hobby really is. This is a huge, huge commitment. Well, it's more than so a hobby. Yeah, it's like I want to make sure that I highlight that. For sure. So, um, also for everyone, I wanted to ask what you're feeding all of your cats these days. I feed raw food. It's, um, I buy it in Florida from a place that makes pet grind food. Um, they grind it. So it's the right ratio, meat to bone, and and then they ship it to me with dry ice, so it's frozen. Sorry, showing off my stomach. And... <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. Okay, um, yeah, so... Um... They ship it to me frozen, and then I add the supplements and a little bit of greens and vegetables and stuff for them. So, so basically, you make homemade raw food, you buy it all pre-ground right. with the bone and the organ and then you add the supplements and the greens so that's yeah. a whole that's a whole nother commitment that you have to do like how often are you making the food like making the batches of food like every few days or every week every feeding every, every feeding, feeding you have to make the batches. Up the, yeah how, so it's fresh you don't want how much how much go bad. are you how many pounds of food are you feeding a day about eight pounds. Eight pounds of food a day. Yeah, so that, yeah, that gives everybody a perspective. Pounds. Yeah, right. I know. At, I know. At one point, I think we were feeding upwards to like ten to twelve pounds a day. <laughs> right. So. Yeah. Sometimes when I have a lot of litters, then the kittens are eating. Yeah. So that's a that's a big be, job. So. Um, and it's, yeah, costs a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it does. So. That's pretty much your morning routine, and yeah. so then you do have another job as well, right? Why don't you tell people a little bit more about that? Like I work at schedule? CBS you work as a full -time, shift part -time. supervisor. Full time. You work full time. I work as a supervisor at CVS. 
Okay. I so typically, I typically work three to 11s, but sometimes it's seven to three. So. So you've got eight hours at CVS, then three to four hours in the morning. So you're yeah. already at a 12 hour day right there. And then yeah. tell us about your evening routine. And then at night, it's the same thing. I come home and get everybody fed. And of course, there's always a little bit of cleaning up with moms and babies, especially when you have kittens that are six to seven week mark. They make big messes. So, <laughs> so it's another yeah. hour or so in the evening doing more chores. And especially then when they sit down and relax. When they start making you little tootsie rolls, right? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah those days were, those were big fun. Yeah. All right, so you've got five to six hours on average every day that you're spending just caring for the cats on top of yeah. your full-time job. So, you know, again, I think that's a huge important piece for people to understand just the type of time commitment that it requires and that's obviously a huge, huge responsibility. So, you know, in, in your opinion, what, what does somebody have to really understand and, and commit to, to really be a, a cat breeder? It's, it's a commitment. Um, it's definitely, you have to really be devoted to it for sure, because there really is no vacations. There's no, you know, I do manage to get time on days off to maybe go to a movie and go to dinner, and, but it's a full-time, round-the-clock job. you got to be up all night sometimes delivering kittens, and it's, yeah, it's definitely a commitment. Yeah. you got to, you know, devote your life to it, basically. Yeah, you do. So. You do. So. Yeah, I wouldn't I, change I think, it. I love it. I think one thing that I used to tell people to try to help them understand is it's really along the same lines as sort of raising a baby, but constantly the baby never grows up. Wouldn't, wouldn't you say that's <laughs> right. a good, yeah, a good analogy. Yeah. You're going to, you're going to miss a lot of, you're going to miss a lot of things, basically a lot of events, a lot of yep. you know, socializing weekends, a lot of sleep is going to be lost, disturbed, yes. everything. So yeah, that's, that's yep. a huge thing for, it's a big commitment for people to know. Um, so last couple things, what's the most rewarding part of you and your experience breeding cats? Oh, and what I'm doing what's... right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just spending time with them and enjoying them. How can nobody not love these cats? And who do you have there anyway, by the way? This is Athena and okay. her baby. They got four little babies. <laughs> they are cuties. And, okay, what's the most challenging part that you've experienced since being a cat breeder? I would say when they go home. That's the toughest part. Oh, yeah. Just, I remember those you know, days. You spend so much time loving and caring for them, and then... <laughs> And then you like have to turn them over. I get tears in my eyes just thinking about it. But yeah, uh, it's tough. It's yeah. tough, especially like with the adults, like the Athena, for instance. I've had her since a baby, and it's going to be really tough to retire her at the end of this year. So, oh it's yeah, hard to let her go. I just would love to keep them all, but I can't. <laughs> I have two that I've kept. Yep. As my pets, but I, I, I definitely all. would agree that was the hardest thing, especially the adult cats that you have in your life for years and then have to find them pet homes because you just can't keep them right. all or you can't devote um, as much time and attention and space for everybody. So, yeah, that was, not, I, I yeah, still have certain cats that them. people have that have adopted from me in the past that I have a hard time seeing their photos online. When I look, I'm like, Oh, I just want to cry. Yeah. I can't see their yeah. photos. 
All right, so we got to wrap this up. Uh, my last question is, as a breeder, what is the thing that you suggest for someone to do if they think they want to begin breeding cats? Um, definitely do your research. And like I said, it, you have to be ready and prepared to devote your life to it. This is my life. This is what I've chosen and I love doing it. So it's, it's not something to take lightly that you like, Oh, I can just breed a few. No, it's a right. round the clock commitment that you have to, you have to devote to these guys. Yep, absolutely. And then my only other point would be recommending them to reach out to an experienced breeder and finding a mentor. Um, yeah. Because right. especially with the hairless breeds, there's just really, there's so much to know, so much to need to know to do things well and right so that you're, you know, you're making good, healthy babies and you're not getting yourself into a big disaster by right. not knowing what to do. I think, right. I think a lot of people take, Doing your research, take it really for granted. Not... Um, they, you know, they maybe just saw cats outside, you know, and, oh, they had babies and it just, it just seems so easy. Mom just has babies and you're good to go. And once you get into actually breeding the cats, you realize that there's so, so much more that goes into that. You can, you can really, learn and research and learn about cats and learn about breeding, I would say for your whole life and still not really know it all. I mean, I've had oh, 14 no. years experience Always and learning. I definitely know a lot, but I still learn new things all, all the time. And especially on the medical side of things, because, you know, medical changes all the time and there's new advances all the time. There's new things that I just mm -hmm. learned, you know, last week I'm always learning stuff. So all right, cool. We will wrap this up. So thank you very much for your time and showing us your kitties <laughs> and our first live interview. So thank you everyone that's watching and I hope you enjoyed. This was everything about a, a, the life of a cat breeder and everything you could want to know <laughs> about the life of a cat breeder. So chat with you later, mom. Love you. Bye. Love